converts again. Go outside to Corbell. Go on, 20 footer. Go! Bounce pass to Duffy, left hand. Good evening and welcome to a special CTV Sports pre-Mountain West basketball tournament show. I'm Olivia Landis. And I'm Carly Schwartzkopf. We're here to discuss, discuss some of the best moments for the Colorado State men's and women's basketball team, as well as to look at some key players. Taking a look first at the Colorado State men's basketball team, the Magnificent Seven, their name, which is so well known right now, and some of their accomplishments on the season with a video of the best plays of the year. Starting off, Carly, the unforgettable Orange Out, where Emmanuel Magbo sinks a three with just five seconds left. He is something special. Mm -hmm. so Emmanuel, Emmanuel Magbo has been such a great player for the Rams this entire season. That shot was so weird, too. I don't even know how he made it, but he did. And, you know, just last weekend, Prentice, or on Tuesday, I mean, Prentice hitting that shot, too. This team is so clutch under high-pressure situations. Yeah. It blows my mind. It blows everyone's mind. I truly couldn't believe that this happened two consecutive games in a row where the Rams won on three-point baskets with just under five seconds left. Here we can see the crowd storming the court. They did it two nights in a row. This team, Magnificent Seven, that, that has gained so much attention. Coach Larry Eustace, you got to give him credit. He's done something amazing with these seven young men that nobody really expected. Yeah, no one expected this Colorado State team to be tied in the first place for the Mountain West. Going into the season, preseason pre Mountain West polls had them ranked 11th. They have mm -hmm. defied all the odds. They are playing amazing. Such great team basketball. You have to give credit to, there are seven players on this entire basketball team. Yeah. That is two subs. That is unreal. For tied for Mountain West, this team is talented. They know each other well. That's why they're playing so well. And looking at the statistics, you know, they've won their 13th game in Mountain West play, which is tied for the most in all CSU history. And Coach Larry Eustace went undefeated in February for the first time ever here at Colorado State, won seven games with these seven young men. And, you know, they're now competing for that Mountain West championship title. First time in over 25 years that they've ever been able to say that. Yeah, this is a huge deal that they could be taking this title home. And, you know, when this team first started off with these seven players, they lost their first game by 21 points. Kind of gave people this look, oh, this team's not going to be as well. But they have won, you know, these games by one or two points. They, they can handle the adversity. They can play well together. Mm -hmm. They have such key players, too, that have been consistent throughout every single game, which is so hard to do as a basketball player to be constantly, you know, you have to make this shot. You have to make that play. You have to do it, and they continue to do it time and time again. I think what's super unique about this team is that they're exciting to watch. People love watching these guys play. They're fun. They go out there. They surprise you. And they're the best defensive team in the Mountain West. So right there, you know, you, every game you go to, you know you're going to be watching the Mountain West's number one defensive team. But offense is what's really turned this team around. Every team that is on, whether it's on the bench, the starting five, every player is able to produce. Yeah, and you know, Larry Sashi preaches defense. That is all this team does mm -hmm. in practice. It is defense. Hours upon hours don't really have an offense, which as a basketball player back in my day, that would have been my favorite thing in the world is to be able to just play free offense, which you can tell they just know. Mm -hmm. Like, GN will sometimes ask them to clear the lane because they know exactly what he's going to do. Sometimes Emmanuel will work so hard just to feed it to Nico down low. You can just tell they have their place set in their mind. They don't even need an offense. Yeah, and look, even just taking a look at some of these best plays of the year, we throw a few offensive plays in there, a few defensive plays, but, you know, Diving a little bit deeper into some of the individual players, Emmanuel Magbo, who has been truly, him along with senior Gene Clavel, the heart and soul of the team this year. He has done an outstanding job and set some records. Yeah, not only has he set records in the Mountain West, which he is ranked first for double-doubles with 13. Mm -hmm. You know, he is breaking school records. He's also gaining national attention. A couple of weeks ago, he was ranked like 15th in the nation. He is a mm -hmm. great basketball player all around, super athletic. He's also a player, you know, someone who has dealt with a ton of adversity and truly overcome it. We saw in his last game, you know, when he made that last second shot, he had a ton of emotion. You can just tell this team has a lot of heart and yeah. they play hard every single game for each other, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool to watch. Yeah, it's definitely been fun to watch them, you know, having Emmanuel Magbo with 
18 rebounds on the season, 13 in Mountain West play. He's definitely going to be one of the threats, especially in that Mountain West tournament here, here coming up this week. So for the Colorado State men's basketball team, they take on Nevada this coming Saturday to determine who's going to win that Mountain West Conference Championship. And, you know, let's take a look at the, some of the challenges he heading into that Mountain West tournament. Who are going to be the teams to really look out that's going to give Colorado State a little bit of a struggle? Yeah, you know, we talked about how we obviously, I mean, not we, but a lot of people want Colorado State to win. They want them to win the Mountain West. They want them to do well. But if they do win the Mountain West, they end up after their bye week, they play San Diego State, which is a super tough team to mm -hmm. play. You know, they've played them tough all season long. If they do play San Diego State, though, in my personal opinion, get the hard, get one of the hard games out of the way. They're kind mm -hmm. of on a roll, you know, winning yeah. seven games in a row. They get that nice bye game to just chill out and come in mm -hmm. and get that win. I personally think that would be beneficial for CSU. And the men's conference is a little bit tougher than the women's. We do have to give them that. The Mountain West Conference is tough this year. You have Boise State, who Colorado State was swept in the series this year. Um, Wyoming's going to be tough. Fresno State's going to be tough. They finished fourth. You know, so you have multiple teams as well as San Diego State and Nevada, the top teams, who are going to be extremely tough. So no matter w whether Colorado State finishes first, grabs that conference championship or not, they're going to be facing a tough team. They are. It is going to be a challenge no matter yeah. what. But all the newspapers have coming out, you know, if they do win, it is going to be a fairy tale ending with mm. seven players. So we just have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's Diving a little bit into the women's side, Carly. Yeah, so let's take a look at the women's team. They have had a tremendous season as well. The Colorado State team clinched its fourth straight conference regular season title. The CSU team is, this CSU women's team is also the only Mountain West team in history to win a regular season title in four consecutive seasons. With their win, they now are number one for the Mountain West tournament next weekend in Las Vegas. And this past season has been fairly, a fairly normal season for the women's team. They usually dominate the Mountain West. Hardly any competition for those girls. And they finished 14-3 and three in the mm -hmm. conference. Yeah. You know, and Colorado State has, this women's team has been so special for so long. You know, Coach Ryan Williams talked about how he really built this program up because four years ago, the CCU women's basketball team was not winning conference championships. They were, you know, not even really winning that many games, especially at home. So for this coach, you got to give Ryan Williams a lot of credit because for him to come in here and completely turn this program around, that's been something special. And I think that's drawn a lot of attention to the women's team. But this team is a little bit different this year. They have two star players, Ellen Nishram and Ellie Gustafson. These players have been rocking it all year, but really they are the face of the CC women's basketball team. Absolutely. Those two girls are unstoppable. You know, I was just on the computer today and there was a quiz that came up. Who is the best women's basketball player at CSU? That would have never been a question a couple years ago. It was always Becky Hammond. She's the yeah. best of the best. But these two seniors, you know, are giving her a run for her money. Both, you know, they're averaging 15, nearly 15 points per game. They both have been constantly named Mountain West Players of the Week throughout months. And, you know, they're both the 18th and 19th best players in history to reach over 1,000 career points. That's yeah. huge for those girls. They are mm -hmm. clutch every single game. Absolute key players for the girls. And even looking at these highlights, we do see that this team is... I would say a little less rounded than the men's team. You know, they have these two standout players who really just feed off of each other super well. And I'm obviously giving credit to this women's team. They're tremendous. They won a fourth consecutive Mountain West Conference championship. But I think it's going to be a little bit tougher of a year for the, of a year for them in the Mountain West tournament because already we've seen them have pick up three losses in conference play to Wyoming, Nevada, and Boise State, you know? So I think the tournament is going to bring them a little bit more trouble. And they have continued to struggle, you know, in the tournament. They do so well in conference play, and then they get that tournament, and it's almost like they get a little bit scared, you know, maybe just going in too confident. But they have struggled in the past at the Mountain West tournament. They are ranked def nationally defensively, but mm -hmm. offensively you cannot rely on just two players to yeah. win every single game for you, which they are clutch, but... Coming into this tournament, you know, other key players like Hannah Traverti, who also is a great player for them, is really going to have to step up, mm -hmm. especially if those two seniors get into foul trouble. It's going to be a completely different ballgame. Well, speaking of the clutch players, Ellen Nisham and, El and Ellie Gustafson, excuse me, let's take a look at some of their highlights so far on this season. Absolutely dominating, you know. 
going into the season, Ellen Nystrom was named Mountain, predicted to be the Mountain West Player of the Year. So she lived up to that name, and now here she is putting up the stats, as well as Ellie Gustafson, who, let's face it, we all knew she was going to have a tremendous year as well. Oh my gosh, they are just beasts down low. These are some strong girl basketball players. They are killer together. They're also best friends, which you can kind of tell a little bit on the court. They're like, they <laughs> the just chemistry. know. They're like, yeah, you backdoor right now. I'm gonna feed it to you. <laughs> they play awesome together. Like, look at like these moves down low are pretty awesome. I mm -hmm. just, I don't know. I think they are gonna be unstoppable. Could easily be the best players in the Mountain West. Looking at Colorado State men's basketball team again, they did just come up with another huge award. Carly, Colorado State's head coach Larry Eustace was named just recently the Mountain West Coach of the Year, as well as senior guard Jean Clavel, who was given the honors Mountain West Player of the Year. This is huge for this team, this magnificent seven. Talk a little bit about that. Well, you know, head coach Larry Stacey winning Mountain West Coach of the Year is a pretty awesome honor, especially the fact that he was coaching virtually seven players this entire season and brought them just shy of a Mountain West championship you know, victory. That would have been the first time in 27 years, but they took second place overall in conference play, which is a pretty big deal. Awesome for him to win. He's been doing great with the program. And Gene Clavel, you know, we always say Emmanuel Magbo is super consistent, but Gene has been consistent from the points, and that's all you can ask from a point guard. Yeah, definitely. And these, like you said, these are huge honors, not only for the coach, but as well as Gene Clavel for the senior that came back from an injury and was able to recover and get those honors. But this is huge for the team. You know, now we move on to the Mountain West tournaments that we will have coverage coming this weekend. Well, that wraps up our pre-Mountain West basketball tournament show. Carly and I will be headed to Vegas this week to give you coverage on both the men's and women's basketball teams. So make sure to keep up with our Twitter accounts and CTV Channel 11's YouTube page for all of our videos. Have a great night and a safe spring break.